Hello, so today we are doing this problem called decode string and the problem says we get um, we get um, a string, an encoded string and we want to return it's a decoded string. So for example, we may get a string like this with a number and then the encoded string where the encoded string inside the square bracket is being repeated exactly k times. So we'd have k and then between brackets we'd have a string which means that the string between brackets should be repeated k times and k is guaranteed to be an integer. And you may assume that the input string is always valid, um, the, which means that the, you, we won't have any white space, we won't have any square brackets that are not well formed where, for example, one is uh, opened and then there is no matching or close, close the bracket, we won't have that problem. And also we may assume that the original data does not contain any digits and that the digits are only for those repeat numbers, which means the only digits that we'll have are these ones that mean that we should repeat the string between brackets. Which means, for example, you won't have an input like 3a, like this, um, or something like this, where it doesn't make sense in terms of having a k and then brackets and then a string. And so, for example, this string here, would have 3a between bracket and 2 and bc between brackets. And this essentially means that we would have 3a's, uh, 1b, uh, 3a, and then 2 bc's, and so bc, bc. And here we would have 3 of these, and these are 1a and then 2 c's. So 1a and 2 c's three times, 1a, 2 c's three times. Um, and the same thing for the last example. And so that's the problem. Now let's see how can we how can we solve this. Um, so how can we solve this problem? So let's take the first example that we had um, there, which was example one, where we had three and then a and two b c, like this, which meant basically that we should have three a's. Um, so we multiply, this is k and this is the string between brackets, so you get something like this, which means um, you need to multiply a k times. And so here we would have three a's and we have bc two times, so we'd have bc, bc. And so this is the problem, now how can we solve it? So whenever you have something like this where there is an expression um, and there are brackets that kind of open and then close and we need to do something with what's in between you should immediately think about using a stack and so here uh, one observation that we can make is that the only character the only type of things that we would deal with here are numbers um, characters right and opening brackets or closed brackets. Those are the only things that we may have according to the problem description. And so that means we can just traverse the string and according to whichever one we encounter, we can do what, what needs to be done. And so, and then from there we can, we can find a way to solve the problem. So what do we need here? So one thing to be careful of is that, another thing to be careful of is that you may have, it's not always one number, you may have 30, a, you may have 20,000 B, C, for example, um, an expression like this, like the problem didn't limit the numbers to just one digit. So that means um, we should keep traversing while we have digits, a digit, and then construct the entire number, right? So that's one thing we need to be careful of. Um, and what we can do here is that the thing is they can be nested also so that's another thing to be careful of is like we can have something like this um, sorry uh, it has to be well formed so but we can have something like 3 um, a and then nested within that we can have 2 B um, C like this for example which means that we would have here, the, if we do the inner one first, we'd have B, C, B, C, and then we'd have A, and then we'd have that three times. And so, these are the different things that we need to be careful of. And the nesting can be multiple levels, right? And so that means we need, we need to kind of put this, before applying this three here, we need to put this expression in a stack. 
so that we pop it and apply apply it three times, right? And so that's one of the ideas. And so um, if we had, let's say, another number before that, let's say two, and then we have D here, something like this, that means we need to put this two here in some other stack, right? So that we can also pop because there may, may be multiple of these, right? And so one thing we can deduce from this is that we need two stacks or not two stacks sorry we need um we need maybe we can do two stacks but we can have a s one stack and then put previous expressions and put the number to apply to the next value to the next um string or the inner string which basically means that we'll put here 3 so that we can apply it to the inner string um, here. And so the way we can do that is just um, traverse the string. So that would mean um, something like traverse the string. So that would mean for this in the string. And we need to have a stack. And we need to have um, a couple of things. We need to have to know the current string that we are dealing with. And we need to know the current number that we are processing or the current count, let's call it. So string would initialize to empty and current count is zero. And what we'll do here is that if we encounter an opening bracket, what should we do? We should put whatever in is in there, in whatever was um, whatever we had so far in a stack, so that we can pop it later and add it into our whatever is in the brackets, right? Because opening a bracket means we are dealing with a new expression, and so to do that, we are going to put whatever we had before, which is the current string in the stack, and the number that we just had before, we need to store it somewhere so that when we are done with with forming this inner string, we can take that number and apply it to our inner string. So basically, once we form this one, we'll pop three and apply it to that string. And so what we are going to do there is stack append the current number. And now we are ready or the current count. And once we do that, we are ready to process whatever is in, in this bracket that we just opened, which will happen in the other if, uh, if cases. And so to do that, we are just going to reinitialize our current string to be empty so that it's uh, free to you to process the inner, the, whatever is in the brackets. And the current count will initialize that to zero because maybe we have this two, for example, and we need that cur current count to be that value. Right? So what are the other conditions? W the other conditions are that C is the closed bracket or that um, C is a digit or that um, C is a character. These are the options. These are the only options according to our observations that we made here, right? And so once we cover all of these, we are done. So when we close the bracket, that means we have the expression. And so we need to apply the number that was before it. And how do we obtain that number? By just popping from the stack, because that number is the last thing that we added to the stack. And so when we reach this one, the closed parentheses, that means we can get the count by just popping from the stack, because it's the last one we appended. And so we can just pop from the stack to get that. And now, what what should we apply? What should we apply? To, um, which what should we multiply by that count? It's whatever is inside the brackets, which is whatever is in our current string, because we started adding to our string when we opened the bracket, and so that means that we will do we will store somewhere count multiplied by um, the current string. And so here, when we encounter a character, we need to store that in the current string, right? So that would mean plus that current character. And 
now we know that in we stored also in the stack the previous string so for example in this case we stored d so we need to add d to whatever is a b c b c here so that we can process the entire thing and multiply it by two and so we need to add the previous string which is just by popping the stack again we will get the previous string because what we the order in which we appended to the stack is by first adding the the string and then adding the count and so the first thing when we pop from the stack so we would have something like this we would have added the the previous string which was d in this case and then after that we added three so first we pop three and we apply it to a b c b c so we apply it there and then we need to add d to it so we will add d to all of these um, three repetitions and so to do that this plus previous string what does this become this becomes our current string because we need to multiply that with d right and so this becomes our current string and now what should we do if we encounter a digit now when we encounter a digit what should happen is that we need to take care of this case because maybe there are multiple digits so we need, we need to handle that um, but we also but we also know that we are already adding to the current count adding it to the stack when I encounter an open uh, bracket so we don't need to worry about adding it to the stack but we just need to worry about um, current count is going to become current count multiplied by 10 plus the current digit with that we can which is just int of c and so why do we do this because if what we do this else and we pass and let's say it's the value is uh, was 2 and so current count is equal to 2 and let's say for example now let's say we have a value of 21 right let's say we had a value 21 on the next pass with the value 1 it will pass and it will find it's a digit again so and we had current count equal to 2 so we want to do 2 multiplied by 10 plus 1 so that we can get that 21 and the same thing if it was 201 we will say okay 210 because we multiply by 10 plus 1 right so that's what we need to do to get the digit and at the end what should we return so now we handled all our cases now what should we return at the end at the end we should return whatever is in the current string because remember the current string as soon as we process the content of the open and closed brackets we append it to whatever was before and we keep doing that so at the end we will have the entire thing in current string and so we can just return current string and that's pretty much all we need to do so the logic here is just we have a stack and we do we go through the string and we handle each case open parentheses clo open bracket close bracket digit and character for th when we open a bracket we want to store whatever we had before whatever string we had before and the number that we had just before opening that bracket because that number is where we going to multiply by the content of the of the opening and uh, closing brackets and that the string that we added to the stack is what we are going to pop here and append it to the new content the inner content of the brackets and when we encounter a digit we just want to calculate it so that we can have it ready when we reach an open brackets and put it in the stack and when we have a character we just want to add it to the current string because again when an open brackets when we encounter an open an open bracket we will store that string in the stack and uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to this problem let's code this up um, and make sure it passes um, uh, lead code church um, okay so now that we've seen an explanation um, of this problem let's just um, co code the code the solution very quickly and so we needed a stack and we need a current count and we needed um, a current string and those were a stack a current count and a current string and we go through the string we check all the cases that we have which are opening brackets um, closed bracket and 
a digit and otherwise it's a character and then um, here when we encountered um, an open bracket we will append whatever current string we had so far and we will append whatever current number current count we had so far and then we will initialize both so that we can um, add the content of the of the new brackets that we just have so that would be zero and when we close we are going to multiply do the multiply operation and so that would mean we'll pop from the stack the count it's the last thing we added so that would be the first thing we get and the previous string which would be whatever we um, which would be whatever we added before adding the count which is which we can get by just doing stack that pop and now the current string is going to become the count at uh, the um, current string because that's what's in the brackets uh, multiplied by count plus whatever previous string we had um, and if we encounter a digit we'll just construct the count value so that we can add it to the to the stack later which would be just multiplying by 10 and adding the value which is just int of c and if we encounter a character we just add it to the current string and that would be added later to the stack or if it's the last one is what it's what we are going to um, return here and that's pretty much all there is to it and in terms of time complexity this is just o of n um, so the time complexity here is just o of n because we are just traversing the string once and the space complexity we are using just one additional stack that will contain at most o of n again um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so let's run this and submit um, so this looks a little bit off because I'm adding the sh previous string after the previous string should be before Okay, cool, let's submit. Okay, so this uh, passes and uh, that's pretty much it. I think the only insight from this problem is that whenever you encounter something like an expression that is well formed, that something where it gets started when you open a bracket or uh, some delimiter and it's done when you closed and it may be nested multiple times, you need to think immediately about using a stack for that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for this problem. Uh, thanks for watching and see you.